Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Episode 3. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Oh, and I'm here for the fast. We're doing a recap of Tales' of story, but you'll never guess as to who's going to be uh, featured in this episode. I Well, if they're recapping a story for Tales, I'm going to assume it's Charmy the Bee. Charmy the Bee. Interesting choice. Uh, I'll, give, I'll give you that. Absolutely. Uh, you're wrong, though. Aww. But, uh... If you said Tails the Fox, you are, uh, wrong. But Well then... Oh, it's Sonic! It's Sonic! Huh? Well, imagine that! Amy, keep your voice down. Have no fear! Oh, no. Oh, I'm, I have nothing but fear. Amy Rose is here! <laughs> nothing but fear. How'd you get here? Oh, please, no. No more fandom drawings. I don't want to see her kill Sonic. Not again. I got plenty of that. No! <laughs> please, no! Is she gonna like do the credit card trick to unlock a lock? <laughs> Is she gonna try that on a jail cell? Did you see it? Well, Amy's good at this. You think this is the first time she's broken somebody out? <laughs> or broken in somewhere? And clearly, she knows how to extort people. <laughs> see, she's the real threat. Forget the black hedgehog. It's just nice to see her on the other side of the bars this time. <laughs> Breaking and entering, uh, extortion, sexual harassment, certainly. Whoa, uh, cursing? Watch your mouth, young lady. Hey, there's no cursing in a Sonic game. Damn, fourth Chaos Emerald, the worst line ever made. Anyway, Metal Harbor is the next stage with Sonic! Going fast again! We are back to going fast. Oh, so it's let's... about time! Let's go fast, yeah. I'm, I'm all for going fast. All right, all right, so we got captured last time. Am I hearing that correct? And then put in jail. Yes. And it just happened to be a military base in the middle of the sea. Well, yeah, because you're, like, doing bad stuff. What kind of bad stuff will we we'll be seeing? That's for certain. But it's a military base in the middle of the ocean. Well, that's where they brought you, obviously. Uh, d does, a, does a hedgehog need that much containment? Sure. Using a light dash. We gotta go up on this thing here, because we have a new item now. <gasps> if I can actually reach uh, up a there, new of item, huh? That was really cool. New item, light shoes! Ooh. Is this the same item we got in the first game? Yes, but it's a little bit different. Instead of having to charge up, you can just press B and there away you go! Oh, that is so much better. They started doing that in the newer Sonic games, right? Yeah, or it, keeps, uh, it keeps the pace going, I'll tell you what. Yeah, because that last one where you had to charge up took a little while, but now you just have to press a button. It's so much easier. And you'll see later how they use that to their advantage. Because there's oh, going to be times where you have to do like a homing attack, and then you have to do a light speed dash. So you got to be like Aww. picture perfect. You got to be pixel perfect on that shit. <clears throat> you got to be pixel perfect <laughs> on that. Oh, can you imagine Sonic coming to a dead stop? Uh, oh, oh Whoa, that you was, almost died that there. Was, that was close. I could just see Hedgehog going 60 miles an hour runs into a crate that was moving about two miles an hour. Just... Ah. Whoa! <laughs> he doesn't turn into a splattered mess because Wait. this is a kid's game. Oh! I saw it. Dolphin? Dolphin. Dolphin. Got it. So uh, what's a beach dolphin doing on a military base? They're in the ocean. But, but a military base? How'd he get up there? Tidal wave? Or did, did uh, they just... I saw I saw a penguin back there, so I wouldn't question too much. <laughs> Why is a penguin here? All right, 15 seconds, go! What? Oh, uh, that's, is that a missile silo? Yeah, it is! On a military base in the middle of the ocean, housing uh, a convict fire. hedgehog. <laughs> this game is silly. Well, what other Sonic game do you ride a missile like this at? Sonic Advance, I know, but okay, anyway. <laughs> Thank you for answering. I wouldn't have known. And high speed. All right. Where's uh, that missile going? Whose town are we destroying? I don't know. It's probably going to some Ford country we're not affiliated with. Who cares? Anyways, fast speed, fast. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably gonna blame that on you too. There's that hedgehog that blew up our hometown. Oh yeah, guns having a field day. Now that we got the black hedgehog, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> uh, there it is. That wasn't bad. Let's see what the game thinks of it. D. 
Good job. Huh. Holy no shit, problem. that's awful. So, what do they expect you to do to get an A? Well, get more rings, score more points, do it faster. Probably not spend so much time getting the light shoes. That's... that's harsh. You want to get A ranks, you're not going to get on your first time through. It's it's not happening. Oh, so these are meant to be, like, multiple playthrough levels? Yeah. Especially, oh, okay. when, you have to, especially when you have to get uh, certain items later on in order to get more points in earlier levels. Oh, okay. So we'll take this time to go ahead and give the chaos drives to our little guy here. Oh, little guy. Our little guy. This is the good one, yes. This is the good one, yes. We re re remember, we praise the hell out of the good one, and we abuse the hell out of the bad one. Because so, he's he's good, and that one's bad, so it doesn't get any love, because it's bad. I could just see the bad one. The only gift he gets is abandonment and a backhand. The only gift he gets is tomorrow. <laughs> that sounds so cruel. No, but that's hilarious. Okay, so uh, good Chow is still good, bad Chow is still a ruffian. Well, bad Chow is still uh, kind of hugging its knees in the corner, but because uh, it, it, it is known <laughs> no love at this point. No one has given it any love. But we'll, we'll get to that. Right now, Shadow has appeared! Oh, God. Sonic is such a bad parent. Loves the first child, hates the second one. The firstborn's the bestborn. <laughs> You'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Oh, wait. Oh, hell yes. Never mind. Uh, actually, that's uh, kind of half-truth. <laughs> oh, I could just see that that child's gonna go postal and probably kill Shadow the Hedgehog. Speaking of which... Yes, fighting Shadow's a little bit tricky because he's got all your moves, pretty much. And he moves quick, too. Uh, yeah, no kidding. So, how do you hit this guy? Really, the best way is to kind of get him from behind or just uh, roll into him and try not to do what I do. Oh. You mean die? Yes. Okay. Somersaulting proves the best way because the game really can't predict where you're going at that point. Oh, so you ba you basically have to trick the programming to hit Shadow. There's also a moment of, like, some opportunity to get him. But that window closes the more more health he has left. Less, le just... less health he has left. Oh, he's just sitting there admiring his own move. He's like, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Ta-da! Oh! Okay, I didn't see that wrong. He is collecting rings. Yes, that's right. Well, that's kind of bull. That means you can't pick them up. Well, that means you got to hit him and take his. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you tell him, Sonic. No, I don't know who you are. Now kick him while he's down. Well, we do that, but we got to do Great Forest first. You have to escape in eight minutes? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it. Blows up? Blows up? <laughs> no! Well then, I'm out of here. Smell you later. That darn shadow. All right, and awkward cut because something went wrong with footage. You can see Sonic wearing something new. That's because I had to go back to stage select, so we're doing something a little bit different. But this is still the first stage through and through. Take a look. Okay, I, cool. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. God. Yeah, no, this is a brilliant level. I, I love it already. Camera got me. That's never happened before. Bonk. <laughs> we're going to die, dude! Oh, okay, there we go. I guess I don't need that checkpoint. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, we almost did. Now, uh... Uh, are we going to a bunch of locale levels? Like, like you got the you got the jungle, and we had the beach already, kinda with the with the silo there. We had the big city. Are there? Are we always gonna have? Like, are we gonna hit a fire level eventually? A fire level, hmm. like a volcano or something like that. You know, I don't think we go to a volcano. Oh really? I don't know. I don't think we do. I thought we were gonna hit all the big locales. Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Oh, you tease. I wanted to know. We got plenty of locales, though. Remember, this is Sonic Adventure 2. They can make all new locales. Was there a jungle in Sonic Adventure 2 quite like this? I don't think so. I can't remember. Was there a jungle in... I mean, I know there was an actual jungle to 
run through, but as far as a jungle level... It was more Mayan-themed than jungle-themed. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, shit. I Woo! totally would have died there. Something about this game, it just... It, it still doesn't control great, but it feels better than Sonic Adventure. I don't know if it's because I'm more used to the GameCube controller, or it's just because, uh... I don't know. It just improved over time. Well, how much did they... Imp how much did they update when they ported it from Dreamcast to GameCube? They changed, like, a couple little things. The rest of the game is pretty much the same. They, they probably tweaked the cutscenes a little bit so they weren't as bad, because... Some of the cutscenes are different on the GameCube than they are on the Dreamcast, but they're not, like, that noticeable. Hmm. You, have to, you have to be a big Sonic dork and have played both in order to realize the differences. <laughs> so, of course, I know the differences. Uh, yeah. just about to say. Whoa. Woo! Time to bungee jump! Woo! Oh, my God, bungee? I missed the balloon, though. Oh, this is no time for fun, Sonic. The place is gonna blow! Hey, we got five and a half minutes left. Gotta hurry. Uh, well. Rip. <laughs> Who needs to be on the path? Whoop. I like to be up, man. Oh, there we go. Plenty of speed. Yeah, oh, oh. Whoa! That was bullshit. That was close. I don't know how you did that, but that was bullshit. I don't know either, man. Don't ask me. <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. I'll yeah. give you a, give you kudos on that one. Now the level's going to be start falling apart. What? It hasn't started blowing up yet. Am I doomed? Not quite. Pew! Oh. Yes! Phew. Okay, there we go. That went all right. I, I always wait for that song, because it's my favorite song in any Sonic game. Out of all the songs, that one? Well, I mean, the best fanfare, I guess. I see. Pumps me up for the next level. We'll just skip right ahead to the Chow world, because now we're going to be doing some Chow things with our Chow guy. Give him the chaos drives that we got from earlier. And because I've chosen stage select, we can be able to take him out now. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we'll take him out and we'll do some things at the Chow Kindergarten. Where's our little neglectful? Oh, he doesn't get to go to kindergarten. <laughs> so he doesn't get an education either? Nope. Well, not, not with the heroes, that's for sure. Educated villain? What the fuck are you talking about? In jail is where he belongs. For doing what? For being evil! Oh, well, okay. So we'll visit all the, all the rooms. We'll start with the fortune-telling house. This is where we get a name for our Chow. <gasps> so you, you can choose your own name, but uh, the fortune teller will give you a name automatically first. Just a random name. And something like Cash or Cheese or, you know, just something dumb like that. So I'll, I'll uh, show you three random names for everybody to get. Second one here is, uh, we got Charlie. Charlie, that's, that's not great. Charlie? Okay. One more and then I'll give it my own name. So the name, this name's gonna be... Dejime? Sold. Dejime? Dejime it is. What does that mean? I don't know, but... Dejime. Oh, welcome, wow. Well, welcome to the world, Dejime. <laughs> welcome to a higher education. You're gonna go places. Unlike your brother, who's a failure in every aspect of his life. <laughs> You're bound for greatness. I guarantee you will be the best. You can also check on our health. It's not so great right now because he's quite young. Because he's still a child. Because the child goes through certain growth periods, just like Tamagotchis do. We'll be doing that eventually later on, throughout the game. So at what point do we Tamagotchi our other Chow to death? It's like, overfeed it so it dies? Well, uh, one step at a time, one step at a time. This <laughs> okay. is the principal's office where he just tells you stuff that, well, I frankly already kind of knew. And can easily look up if I don't know. But now, the classroom. This is <gasps> where your Chow learns. Oh my gosh. Today's lesson is Shake Dance. You leave your chow here, and then you pick them up later, and then they learn a, an extra move. Hmm. You can't really do anything with it right now, so we gotta say goodbye to our little chow for a bit. Aww. So, we'll the, so we'll go to the Black Mart and do some shopping first. Alright. Let's see, we'll go ahead and get... What do we got here? Hey, I know all about the hero fruit. You can't find this on the East Coast, alright? 
Yeah, get, we gotta get the hero fruit. We get the, yeah, the hero fruit. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, we could get a dark seed, but we need more rings. Okay, we'll start with the hero fruit for now. That's about good. And we'll see you next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 when we'll have a new move learned by our channel and more stuff after that.